Brooks. Yeah, so I'll I'll kick this one off with Adam. Are you familiar with the show titled You? Y O U. It's on Netflix. Ah, uh, yes, I've heard of it. I haven't haven't seen it. Yeah, I figure you haven't seen it. it it's I think it's aimed towards like the like t- like teens. Yeah, like, I don't I don't know. It's it's a, it's Penn Badgley. Uh, he's a, he's a stalker. And it kind of has this internal monologue going through and just does all these crazy things. It's on season three now. Season two at Chris D'Elia. Mm-hmm. And he played a comedian that went after underage girls. Mm-hmm. And so that's why people were kind of freaking out that uh, similar things happened. Is he uh, canceled? I mean... I think he just, he's just disappeared. Laying low? Yeah, he's laying low. He's under the radar. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, it's kind of tough if you're a stand-up comedian <laughs> to lay low and stay on... Under yeah. the radar, because that's kind of your job is to not lay low. But I mean, I haven't heard of him like doing any sets or or anything like that. I mean, you kind of wonder, like, is everybody that well off financially that they can just lay low for two years? I, it kind of makes you wonder. I, he, he had a lot of TV work. And I, th- I mean, I, th- I think he he's at least financially set to lay low for maybe another year. OK. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so there's a show called You, and there's this uh, this clip of Laura Ingram talking to Raymond Arroyo that was going around last night, and they, they kind of did this who's on first thing, but let, let's watch and let's just see what you think. All right. Because everyone's, everyone's talking about it. To the politics and all those woke storylines in so many shows today. You know, I was watching an episode of uh, You where measles came up. Wait, wait, wait. When did I mention measles? I don't know. It was on you. What, 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 what was on me? What are you talking about? Right? What is the measles hearing what I'm the saying? I never had the measles. was on you. We never did a... <laughs> We never did a measles and vaccine episode. Am I? Is this a joke? I, know. I don't even know it what you're w- talking about. It was on you. It was on you. I've never had, Raymond, I've never had measles. What are you talking about? This is stupid. It was an episode of a show, Laura. W- what's it called? You. What is you. About? It's called you. So I've this never is, done a show this on is a measles. deliberate I who's on first comedy. Exactly. It's a show I give up. called yeah, they, You on the, Netflix. The thing is, neither of them on Netflix. ever admitted this was what a bit. I was going to say, to I, I can't explain this. I think she's genuinely confused. Dawson also thinks oh. she's genuinely confused. Oh. Um, well, she's. Uh, look, as uh, far as I can tell from most Republicans, they don't have great comedic acting chops, <laughs> g- generally, generally. So if she's being convincing, maybe she does believe it. I think she does. Oh. Yeah, Gio also thought that it was real because he, when he, he sent it to me yesterday, too, he's mm-hmm. cracking up about it. But the dude knows he's messing with her. Like, he's hamming it up, right? I don't- yeah, I think, yeah, I, I think like he, he knows. He, he could like have that. easily he cleared that up. Yeah. So yes, he's playing a joke, and she's oh. not in on it. I, hmm. you think she's? I think she looked legitimately confused. What was? I guess what was his point with the TV show? You because, well, the point was woke storylines. I guess in uh, yeah, well, current well, television, it seemed uh-huh. like just a springboard into this bit. Yeah, yeah, but. I don't know if she's in on it or not, but well, anyway, what's Penn, the- Penn Badgley, who the star of you, also uh, great in the movie Easy Day. I'm not Penn Badgley. <laughs> he says, it's got to be a bit. Dude is committed. He actually made me LOL, but watch how he waits for her to cut him off in the back and forth. And I watch it a few times. Well, it's totally to a bit. Yeah. And then, and then Andy Richter. You think it's totally a bit? Oh, yeah. Oh. Andy Richter says the fact that people are actually laughing at that Laura Ingram thing makes me feel like I've wasted the last 35 years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it reminds me, God, we can find this. I think Kalen, I gotta, I gotta think of it. Um, all right. It's, I, I don't have super strong opinions about it cause it's, it's kind of neither here nor, mm-hmm. nor there, but uh, but it's interesting that people are, are captured, but it's got, that's got to be a slow news day been, for people to get. It's been viewed over 5 million times. Really? Last night. Yeah. But cause it's, because people want to, un, un, because human beings want to unravel this. Mm-hmm. Like, we got to know. Did this, was this staged? Exactly. Was it, was it uh, happenstance? Well, most of, actually, most of the reaction that I've seen was, look how dumb Laura Ingram is. This is the shut up and dribble lady, and she doesn't even know about pop culture or the show you hmm. i think it's a whole bit but this is why it's been viewed so many times because now i want to watch it again <laughs> the uh 
All right, so, oh, God. Adam's right about the, the lack of comedy chops on the part of the Laura Ingrams sure. of the world. Like, she's genuinely confused. There's no way she could pull off that acting. I, I agree. I, I she is not again. a great actor. She's yeah, a no, television she, yeah, she's convinced. Host. She's totally she's convincing. She's totally convinced. But how do you know she's not a great she's actor? Not, See, I thought she was a bad actress. Like, I've, <laughs> I've seen it probably five times now, and I'm looking at her, I'm going, man, she is not good. She is not convincing at all. Wow. Uh, well, I wow. could probably, I, I don't have, on a call. I don't have Laura Ingram's phone number, but I, I maybe Tucker, maybe Tucker. <laughs> could yeah, be on this. Although he doesn't own a TV set. So, so yeah, he hasn't I, seen it. Though. I don't, I don't know, but maybe he saw it on his phone. But isn't that it, your, it your may, joke I'll writing 101 is don't be confusing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Joke, right? Well, there's, there's certain jokes where the person that's making the joke has it worked out in their head and mm -hmm. they think, oh, this is going to be funny and here's how it's going to go and I don't need to tell the other person this is how mm -hmm. it, they play it out in their head and maybe oh, that's what happened like here. A I don't joke know. on his part that she wasn't aware of? Well, now we need to see it again. Yeah. I just mean the, yeah, whole general, the whole general premise. But you can also find in the controversy hoax TV department, jokes or hoax. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Ralphie May... Of falling oh, down, yeah. the, falling down the stairs at Kimmel. Watch her at the end. <laughs> all right. Watch her the whole time. Politics and all those woke storylines in so many shows today. You know, I was watching an episode of uh, You where measles came up. Wait, wait, wait. It, when it, did it, I it, mention measles? I don't know. It was on You. Wait, what? What? what, what? What was on me? What are you talking about? Right? What is the, the right? hearing what I'm the saying? I never had the measles. Was yeah, on you. That yeah. sounds like she's in. I we agree. never did a <laughs> We never did a measles and vaccine episode. Am I is this a joke? I, know. I don't even know it what you're talking about. Uh, it was there on you. Is a joke thing, it was actually, on you. Yeah. I've never had Raymond, I've never had measles. She wouldn't be what this indignant. What are you indignant. talking about? Stupid. It was an episode. <laughs> well, well, call him stupid. What the is, though? Ben's right. Like, well, what's usually it going for it. I would never say... You. If, if, you. If, if somebody, you. I've never done a show on measles. If, I, I just completely right. give if up. If somebody said... You know, hey Adam, remember you did that podcast on measles? I'd go. I've never done a podcast. I'd go like, oh, how long ago? Uh, when yeah. was that? Because so she does a show Josh every Bruce. night. She's been doing it for five years. She's done two thousand shows. You wouldn't just call the guy stupid and move on. Yeah, you're you, stupid. Yeah, you talk about a million things every night. You like, have to I entertain it just for a little. You'd bit. have to entertain it. That's exactly right. You'd have to let it emulsify. Did like I? what measles? And plus. Measles, you could have been talking about the, why do kids need a vaccine? Right. And someone goes, Well, they get their measles shot, then they should get their vaccine shot. Right. You think it was part of a bigger. You wouldn't just vac declare, I've never had I've the measles. Never had the measles. <laughs> yeah. Which wouldn't prevent you from talking about the measles. Right. I think she was. She was in on it. I will say the guy could have been a lot clearer in clearing it up. He just kept saying, you, yeah. you, like as opposed to there is a show. The title is Y-O-U-U. -U. Well, I think we're all in. I think we all agree that he knew it was sure. a bit. He was in, and I think she was in as well by saying I've never had the yeah. measles. And maybe the look of disgust and confusion on her face at the end was just a look saying that joke did not work. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, we're talking about her, yeah. aren't we? More yeah. people watch that show than ever. So, so the Ralph, Ralphie May in his uh, appearance on uh, on yeah, Kimmel. I'll, I'll pull up during news today. Okay, yeah, he took a took a spill. He took a spill, and yeah. it, it's believable. It's believable, but he, I think, always claimed it was a pratfall. Yeah, that was the that was a huh. controversy. Um, all right, well, let's go. Let's go to the next topic. Here's I will say this. Um, I judge, I, you can watch, you know, if you watch, we'll get into the nuts and the bolts of Ralphie May, but, um, see for me much, well, the thing I learned doing love line all those years ago is, uh, like I said, when somebody would say, you know, I had sex with my best friend's mom. Mm -hmm. So you guys know how this goes, but the, but the reason I'm bringing it up is, if you say I had sex with my best friend's mom, and I go, what was the mom wearing? And they go, I, I don't know, like just, I don't know, t-shirt and shorts or something. I don't, I don't remember. Then he's, that's truthful. Right. If he has the negligee with the Marabou stiletto Marabou with heel, ostrich feathers. Right. Well, that meant he's worked the story out in his head. Right. And to me, the reason why Ralphie May 
didn't do a pratfall but actually slipped and went down hard is because when he got to the sofa to talk to Jimmy, he didn't have things chambered. Mm -hmm. So if you are making an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live or any late night show and you work it out that I'm going to do this pratfall, then you will pre-chamber three or four jokes yeah. About suing him. I haven't and, seen a slip like this since Janet Jackson uh, at the halftime show. That's right. Thank you. Very good. Thank so you. you'd have a few <laughs> chambered and a few angles worked out. You would you would not have, I'm going to fake a fall and then go sit next to the host with nothing chambered. Right. That's too much to throw away. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So another trolling job on the internet that everyone's <laughs> freaking out about is Barstool Sports. They posted a power rankings of the top 10 female singers. Mm-hmm. And I'll just read them to you. This is funny. Yeah, so number one, Mariah Carey. Two, Whitney Houston. Three, JoJo. Four, Lady Gaga. Five, Aretha Franklin. Six, Beyonce. Seven, Ashley Simpson. Eight, <laughs> Tina Turner. Nine, Adele. And 10, Addison Rae, who's a TikTok star. In that mm-hmm. order. In that order, yes. Who's JoJo? Jo- I think she's like a 90s singer, right? Oh. Or like a maybe early 2000s? Oh, mm-hmm. Like JoJo, pop singer? Actually. Yeah, I don't know JoJo either. Well, not a lot of people did. And everybody's free, like, uh, of course, everyone's freaking out taking this as truth. Kaylin's like, this is just a troll job. Kaylin didn't even want to do this. It's like, I don't want to give Barstool the wow. airtime for putting this up. Mm-hmm. Good um, instinct, Kaylin. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so, and I'm, and like, everyone's just now just replying with who the, who should be on the list. And I just wanted to get your guys' takes. Who should be on this list? I mean, Adam, you saw Celine Dion play in wow. Vegas. Wow. Yeah, I watched her last night in the David Foster thing. I mean, she's hitting notes, and like he at a certain point said to her, like, I'm going to do this arrangement with this note and then another octave, and it, it can, you're not going to be able to do it, but you can try, you know? And she hit it. Wow. Like at, you know, 19 or 20 or whatever. I, I mean, it, it, it's crazy. Her voice is, is nuts. Yeah. Um, her storytelling, not so good. <laughs> she does a lot of uh, tell the story mm-hmm. before every mm-hmm. song, you know. Eh, we could oh, roll the past yeah. yeah. into that. The Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. Yeah, but this is a super unfunny, slight English is my second language <laughs> version of uh-huh. they mm-hmm. shut the mill down and dad was out of work, you know, but this was, <laughs> this was bad. But... Yeah, she should be on there. But now, are we just going for pure vocal chops, or are we going for like, you know Joan Armatrading or something? It's got it's a little more stylized, more interesting. Or your Nina Simone's, your Billie Holiday's, your Ella Fitzgerald. Yeah, mm-hmm. those are all Never people heard of that them. people are saying. To Amy Winehouse is on the list. Linda Ronstadt. Everyone's oh. thought that she should be on. Um, Adele you know, oh, should uh, be on there. I think Brian well, this saw is, her. This is well. T- great. This is well timed. Um, and I don't want to screw this up, but um, when uh, David Foster was working on the bodyguard and working Ooh. with Costner and trying to fi- find a big um, ending song mm-hmm. for Whitney to sing, they first had this David Ruffin. David Ruffin was a spinner or four top or there's like one of the guys who broke away from one of those bands and he had uh, they had what became um, what becomes of the broken I think this is brother Dave Ruffin. Oh, Dave well, Ruffin. Well, we can look that up, yeah, but uh, it was a rough end. It was a the great song. And hearted. Love that song. <laughs> and and, and Foster's was like, ah, it's okay, but it's not not great. And uh, then he came up across the Dolly Parton Ooh, yeah. one, and then he realized that Linda Ronstadt covered that one as well, and then told someone, like, go out and get the Linda Ronset mm. version of it. But she skipped a verse or something that he wanted. And mm. that's how mm. it anyway got yeah, back to it. Mm. Yeah. Um, the, uh, God, who was I thinking of now? Sorry, keep going hey, with your Gina, do you prefer Dolly's version over Whitney's? No. No, and I'm I'm fully support Dolly. She gets it. She says, uh, you know, people ask, do I get mad when I every time I hear that? And she goes, no, because every time I hear Whitney's version, all I hear is cha ching. <laughs> so she's fine mm. with it. Okay, but good. I mean, it, Whitney's Whitney's a powerhouse. I do think Dolly should be on that list. I think that her Minnie Mouse voice gets her overlooked mm. a lot, but I do absolutely think she should be on that list. I went back since I've been taking these uh, deep dives into these uh, Netflix music docs. Yeah. 
You can find is it Sarah Bareilles? Sarah oh, she's Bareilles, great. yeah. She's one of she's one of my all time faves. She's uh, a waitress. I had uh, I went back and looked at her singing at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, two thousand and twelve. She was on the show, wasn't yeah. she? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's come in. Stony End. I think I watched her sing the live version of. See if we can find. Uh, I don't know, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, two thousand twelve. Sarah Bareilles, Stony End. I think it was um, doing a tribute to a uh, singer-songwriter. Name escapes me right now. But anyway, it's so goddamn good because A, it's live, Mm -hmm. and B, those Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, their wrecking crew, their band is so fucking good. They're backup singers. They get the strings. Listen how good this song is. The live version of this song is. And she's playing the piano, too. She's a real deal. up. Hey, Chris. Yes, Adam. It's a good song. Can you play the piano? It's so good. I love the backup singers. I'd like to be like on the just standing in the wings with DJ Khaled. Do you have anything you could contribute to this? You I mean, scream over the song. You could get Sarah Water, I guess. <laughs> what could you do to help this? Tell her she the best. Anything? Is there anything you could do on this stage with these people? <laughs> Fucking lump of shit. You know, you you when she was on the show, you talked about this performance, and she doesn't like it. She thought she didn't do a good job. I love it. That much easier to have sex with. (laughs) Low self-esteem and a talented package. That's what you're looking for. Instead, you get Gina. (laughs) Gina Varellis. Oh, God. You know she has a very smash hit. Broadway musical on right now. Yeah, Waitress, right? Oh, yeah. She she, is, she just released a live album. Oh. Nice. She has a live album from the Hollywood Bowl. It's great. Yeah, I stand by her. I love this song. Come on. And the fact that she's playing the piano is just that much better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Super hot. Well, can we, can we talk about a, another singer? How yeah. dare you? God, this song's so good. She has, can I just say, she has yeah. a great tool tune. Actually, Brian would probably call it a tool tune. I don't. Mm. She has this great pop song called I Choose You. She's just, I, and I'm not a big pop music person, but it is fantastic. It's a great song. Definitely look it up. Yeah, that's just a great song. Yeah. Might Thank surprise you. you. I'm a big Sarah Bareilles fan. Oh, wow. The first album is, first start to finish, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, look at you. All right. Well, it's unanimous. All yeah. Right. It's unanimous. Her live albums, I think, better than her studio albums. Well, she obviously has the chops to perform live. We just um, saw it. Well, let's talk about another female singer here named Sophia Urista. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Urethra, you mean? It's close. So she's in a band called Brass Against. Mm-hmm. And they, they're they a rock band. They do a lot of Rage Against Machine and tour <laughs> You're here, covers. I don't know why, but uh, I was thinking about this band when I was like 19. We knew some girl who was in a band called Butt Trumpet. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Let me guess what trumpet? the big instrument was. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you never... I, you got to look it up, Dawson, but there's a <laughs> band out here called Butt Trumpet. 
Yeah, sorry. That's pretty good. That's a great name. And you'd actually probably like this band because they do all like like metal covers with brass instruments. Yeah. Oh man, yes. I'm into that. Um, well, they were playing at the Welcome to Rockville Festival in Daytona Beach, Florida. When during the show, Sophia, uh, she she's, she has a lot of energy. She got the crowd going, and she's like, "I got to pee." And she says, "If I, I'm on stage here, mm-hmm. what are we going to do about this?" And she singles out a guy in the crowd because this guy has a beer can taped to his forehead, ah. and he's like, "You get up over here. I'm going to pee on your face." And now, then, to be fair to her, she was trying to make it into the can, right? Uh, was she trying that well, hard? So what happens? So the guy gets up. He's stoked. He's like, "I'm being called out. This is awesome." So he goes up on stage. She forces him. Well, she didn't force, but she has him. Kind of like Courtney Cox in that Springsteen video. <laughs> <laughs> same same, 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 dark, same right. difference. <laughs> she has because we've seen the Springsteen video. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's eerily similar. Okay. So. She has, she has them lie down. I don't, we don't want to watch it because um, it did not pass the lasagna test for me. Oh, my God. Uh, but I, we I can, wouldn't mind pee. seeing okay, we can some see of it. it. All right, Kaylin, put it up. Um, She's hot. Yeah. Until now. She squats yeah. over his face. There it goes. Wow. You'll know. Ah! There, there it goes. <laughs> it is. Oh, it looks like sparks. It's, it's, it's the uh, and this guy is just loving it. He's, just, he's not moving. Where's the Taliban? Tell me now. So he's he's rocking out. He walks away. This guy gets up. He starts spitting it back into the crowd, misting oh it out. Oh my god. Felching. Mm. Yeah. And she's like, get this guy off the stage, and then they go on. So. <laughs> <laughs> Same vid. What she did is technically illegal. Yeah. You can't do that. Well, it's funny. I was like, what? He told me the story. I was like, what part of Germany this take right. place in? It was like Florida. I'm like, there oh, you go. Germany <laughs> or Florida. Yeah, it still, still holds up. She's hot. That's yeah, kind of hardcore. Hot. Yeah. Got a ton of views. Everybody's talking about it online. And, and one of the biggest responses is, wow, this band rips. Like, yeah, like they're actually really good, and so they got a ton of new fans for it. But a few things: the band they released a statement saying, "Like she got carried away. That's not something the rest of us expected. You won't see that again at any of our shows." Oh, boom. NASCAR's like, you, "They will not be in any of our future programming." And then she just <laughs> apologized like last night, saying, um, "Yeah, I, I, I went too far. I love my family. The band fans." I like didn't to watch that anybody. video with Howie Mandel. <laughs> I just, <laughs> just have him in a position on the, the floor. And I wouldn't look at the screen. I would face my chair yeah. with yeah. my back to the screen. And the I would just video, yeah. basically. Right. watch. Uh, and then I'd be like, Howie, pretty bad. So I went a little, a little palate cleanser. Give me two girls, one cup. Let's see if we can just kind of <laughs> remove that image from your mind. Yeah. Wow. It, she she has crazy pipes, though. She was on The Voice, maybe? She was like a contestant on The Voice. Yeah, she, and she was when she was singing up there, Like a lot, some people were saying, I'm surprised she didn't drop a deuce because of how <laughs> hard she was just like, she was going while she was... Mm. It was, yeah, it, I mean... It's the I, best thing she could have done I for her career. I can't see it. But it, we all know who is she is great. now. You know who loves this news? Who? Fergie. Oh. Because <laughs> she had a little wet spot in her yeah. tinkle spot, and everyone made a big deal out of it. Right. And then it was like, did she spill something? You think she peed herself? That could be sweat. She's now, we have a new leader in the clubhouse when we're like me referencing now. female yeah. singers who may have had a little bladder issue. Ray probably stage. doesn't like the competition. Oh, uh, yeah. And I wouldn't even want to show Ray this video because him and Chris be like amateur hour. Yeah, <laughs> Look yeah. at her. She, she's not even brewing. I mean coming out of her, her butt. <laughs> yeah, she's not even rifle. This is a shit show up there. No velocity. <laughs> not near the strike zone. Yeah, they'd have a lot to say about it. Yeah, that went every which way, that pee. We'd break it down like the Manning brothers, you right, know, watching right. the game film to get the <laughs> telestrator out. <laughs> Yeah, that was, uh, look, anytime you pee on someone where you're relying that much on gravity, it's mm-hmm. not for us. It's not even mm-hmm. worth our time. Yeah. Why are you wasting our time? Yeah. Well, uh, police said that they are not pressing charges. And it's not more, or anything like I, that. I feel to me, this is more about the guy. I mm. mean, uh, who was the guy? Mm-hmm. Did he show up at work? Does he have kids? <laughs> you, you know what I mean? And was it, and speaking of who's on first, was it a setup? Was he, did he already know that that was going to be, he had a can strapped to his head. Yeah. It was Laura Ingram. <laughs> Raymond Arroyo. He'll, 
orchestrated this fiasco. You, me? Um, I, this had to be spontaneous because if, if I think of it, I don't. If it was, it, it was. This was a crime of passion, not a premeditated murder. Right. I, I think. I think the band would kind of go, "Hmm, it's a NASCAR thing," or yeah. like, "Let's yeah. not, you know, don't, don't do this." Mm. But I mean, this is the, the most publicity they've ever had. Seriously, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. there you go. They got a ton of new fans. We'll s- excited to see what what they do next. Um, but someone who did get <laughs> uh, arrested for pouring hot liquid on a person's face. Uh, this girl, she wasn't from Temple, Texas, and she was she had a soup. I don't know if you guys saw this. Mm-hmm. It went. All, it was all over TikTok. She 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 brought the soup up to the counter because it was too hot. And the I don't know melted. where I'm. I'm spending so much time on bring a trailer <laughs> that uh, all this stuff. It's right it's past my radar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this went viral on TikTok. But so uh, she brought the soup back and she said, it's too hot. It melted the lid. And then this happened. They're talking about it. It's right in her face. Oh. Right, scalding right, hot. Right in her face. Well, wow. That was a direct hit. That was, that was yeah. more concentrated than the urine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So uh, Janelle Brolin is the one that got hit. And she said that. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't as hot as she was claiming it was. Mm. And actually, she would know. She did. She she posted a video. You, do you have that, Kaylin? Sorry, I didn't know. I didn't know if you had it right. Okay. Well, she posted a video and she's just like, it wasn't that hot. What really sucked was the spices in the soup. It's oh, getting God. in my eyes and uh, and it made my nose bleed. Oh my I'd God. hire that gal. I love those. I lo- I love those people that go. Hey, I'm fine. That's yeah. all right. Oh, well, I'm I thought you meant the guy who's in charge. No, <laughs> not the not the one. Not the thrower of the soup. Yeah. So who do we prefer behind, if you were the cashier, the one at the uh, Canadian donut place that took a shit on the floor? Tim or someone, Hortons. Yeah, or someone mm-hmm. who throws soup in your face. What cashier would you rather be? Well, the thing about the soup in the face, especially at a place that serves soup, is you don't get a whole lot of notice. Right. You know, not a lot of ducking room. Very little. <laughs> no squatting. You got to pulling down the yoga pants and squatting is about enough time for me to get behind the counter. <laughs> You know what I mean? Take shelter. I wonder if the dude who got peed on on stage would probably enjoy the shit flinging video himself. Yeah. Like, yeah. Or maybe he feels some kinship with that person. <laughs> he or, probably does, yeah. They should reach out to one yeah, another. Totally. You know, like, like, they, they do that stuff for like survivors right. or can- kids who've lo- you've cool. lost your child to cancer mm-hmm. and we get together with other adults like that have had this tragedy. Group. A support group, an yeah. encounter group. Yeah. Soup. Port group, a mm-hmm. soup port group. I, yeah, you know, I threw a, I threw a bowl of soup at one of my best friends one time, drunkenly at a Halloween party. One of my biggest regrets. Really, so, hot soup? Uh, no, it was, it was the soup that was left out outside of room service. You can throw hotel. gaspacho all day. Yeah, yeah. I know. Bisc. It was fine. Well, Chowder. what happened? I don't know if this happened to, to you in your past, but I had a girlfriend who uh, she was kind of crazy, and she's like, "Hey, Jason's being a, a, jer- a jerk to me." I need you to go straighten him out. Oh, and he's my friend. And and but she was just egging me on to the point where I was so mad at her. I'm like, I need to prove to you how dumb you are by being a by by telling Jason, hey Jason, why are you being a dick to to my girlfriend? And I took a bowl of soup and I threw it at him. And I, man, I felt it was just like it was me. Her. It wasn't me at all. <laughs> That's not you. Yeah. I can't waste food. <laughs> like I have Even such if it's a not your wasting? Food. crazy thing with food. I can't. So it's like when I you know, whenever I see a ball game or something, it's like, oh, the pitcher the, being the guy, oh, they're throwing their beers at him. I was like, that's a $14 beer. It's a half beer. full beer. Mm. It's a half full beer. You just wait in line for it and paid $14. Like, do something else. I have that when people smash guitars. Um, oh, yeah. That, yeah. It's got to hurt. to watch. Yeah, I, I agree with that as well. All I know about when you get drunk is people get to lift you up and uh, sing uh, I've Had the Time of My Life. That does, yeah, well, that happens now. I've learned a lot Good. since then. I've grown. Everyone's out plying the, you know, out doing the macarena. Who the songs did make the dogs a difference. Out? Yeah, know? someone let the dogs out. Now we got a bunch of dead dogs in China. That's right. So words mean something. <laughs> Maybe not to you, Keith, Maybe not Brian, to you. but to us. There's no script for life, okay? <laughs> We're not yeah. allowed to make doodle okay. on something that uh, Mindy Kaling handed to us. Call it her own. <laughs> <laughs>